Good morning, friends. I am so excited to be here today. Are you excited to be here today with me too? Great. Let's start by singing our good morning song. Ready? Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Great job. So we will say good morning to mommies and daddies and good morning to brothers and sisters and good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning, friends. All right, I'd like to know how you're doing today. Can you tell me? Great job. Today, I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't get quite as good of a sleep as I normally do, so I'm a little tired today. Is it okay that I feel a little tired? Yeah, is it okay that I don't feel quite my normal self? Absolutely, those are both okay. So it's okay if you're having an off day too. Let's get started. All right, so we need to figure out what day of the week it is. Can you show me your seven fingers, your two fingers and your five fingers? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. So what day is it today? Do you know? Hmm, those are good answers. So yesterday was t t Tuesday, which means today is w w Wednesday. Great job. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and we're going to have some fun. All right, so Miss Tracy needs to put Wednesday in the calendar and I'll grab my pointer and let's go do some counting. All right, so Tuesday goes here and Wednesday goes here. And we'll put the today star. So now we need to figure out what this number is. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, Three. Good job. So today is number three. Let's write that on our board. So we will write Wednesday, March three. Great job. All right, so now that we figured out the date, we need to figure out the weather. Think you can help me with that? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? Can you look outside with your looking eyes and tell me what the weather is where you are today? Great job. So today where Miss Tracy is, I can see the sun. There is still snow and there was a little wind this morning. So I will put up the wind. I wore my rubber boots to come to school. I wear my rubber boots a lot, don't I? And my pants. Mm, but today it was a little chillier, so I'm going to put on a coat. There we go. All right. Are we ready to read our story today? I have an extra special story today. I love this storybook. I'm a good listener. Read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, 
Here is the story I have for you today. So my storybook is called Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. Why do you think the hug is impossible for the tiny T-Rex? Is it because T-Rex's arms are just little? Probably, but let's find out. Hello, Pointy. Are you okay? No, today I feel sad. I do not want to play. Hmm, I wonder why he's sad. <gasps> Tiny T-Rex and the impossible hug. I have tiny arms. It is very difficult to hug with tiny arms. Each day I am growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for a Rex as tiny as me, but I will try anyway. Pointy needs me. Where is my father? I will ask him for advice. Hello, father. Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, mathematics might be the answer to your problem. Pointy does not like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. Hmm. Hello, Auntie Junip. What's Auntie Junip doing? She's doing dino yoga. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, says Tiny, but my arms are too tiny. Auntie Junip says, I have found that balance is the key to every problem. Balance and freshly squeezed cucumber juice. Tiny says, that is disgusting. Ugh. Cucumber juice. I will ask my mother for help instead. Uh-oh, I have fallen and now I am lost. I do not think I will find my mother in here. Do we know where tiny T-Rex fell? <gasps> he fell in her drawer. Hello, mother. It's okay if you can't hug, tiny. You are good at many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are tiny, but your heart is big. I cannot hug with my heart, mother, says Tiny. I must learn to hug with my arms. Hello, sister. Hello, brother. Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. We'd love to help, Tiny. To do the impossible, you must plan and practice. Practice, practice, practice. So is Tiny practicing his, his swing? We're watching them practice their swings at table tennis. Thank you, Trixie and Rory. That is good advice, says Tiny. I will plan my strategy. So at first he thinks he might get shot out of a cannon. And then he thinks maybe he might jump. And then maybe he'll ride a unicycle over a ramp. Maybe he'll get a bigger dinosaur to lower him down. Maybe he'll use a hot air balloon. Hmm. I wonder if any of these things are a good plan. I will get stronger. I will practice very hard. I will practice my hugs on everything, on the ball, on a box, on flowers, on the ice cream. How do you think that's gonna work? It's gonna make a mess, not very good. Even on a cactus. Mm, I will not practice on that anymore, it says Tiny. Did he get covered in prickles?
I am almost ready. I will practice one more time. When I am done, I will find my friend. This tree is very big, like pointy. I will hug it. Do you think it's a tree? This is not a tree. I have made a mistake. Please help. From up here, everything looks tiny, like me. I could hug anything I wanted. So what did he hug if it wasn't a tree? Was it the leg of a pterodactyl? <laughs> is he flying up in the sky now? Uh-oh, poor Tiny. <gasps> Uh-oh, now I am falling. I should not have let go. Now I will never find Pointy. He's probably going, ah, as he falls from the sky. Thud. Hello, Pointy. And Pointy says, hello, Tiny. So where did Tiny land? On Pointy's head. I am here to make you feel better. I have practiced very hard and hugged many things. My arms are still tiny and my hugs are still tiny. But I will do my very best because you are my very best friend. <gasps> Look, he's giving him a hug. He's giving Pointy a hug on his head. And Pointy says, thank you, Tiny. And what is happening? So Pointy was not feeling very good. But now he's got what on his face? A smile, that's right. That was the biggest hug ever. The end. So that was a good book about a tiny T-Rex who really wanted to hug his friend Pointy and make him feel better. And even though his arms were small, he practiced and he practiced and then he tried, right? It's always most important that we try, that we try our best, we try our hardest at things at preschool. All right. Let's keep talking about our letters. So our letters are tricky. Now, yesterday we practiced what was in these soup cans, and today we're gonna play a game with them. So I'm gonna trick you. I'm gonna put my soup cans down here where you cannot see them. And then I'm gonna shake them up. And I'm going to pull something out and I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking about. Okay. So this, this is something that are on pants and on coats and sometimes on shirts. And it starts with the letter B. We use them to do things up together. Like if Miss Tracy had them on her sweater, she could do her sweater up. Have you figured out what it is? Good job, buttons. Okay, I'm gonna grab another can and give it a shake. Okay, this is one of Miss Tracy's favorite fruits, but I like them green, not red. And they start with the letter A, ah. Can you guess? Did you guess apple? Great job. Okay, I'm gonna pick a different can. Okay, so this, this is an animal and it lives on farms and it makes the sound moo and it starts with C. K -k. Did you guess cow? Great job. I don't think I can actually trick you guys. All right. 
Let's try one more. There was one missing from this on Monday, so we'll use this one. Okay, so this is also an animal. It starts with the letter A, 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 A. Sometimes it snaps its jaws. You can find them down in marshes and really warm areas. They've got scales on their backs. Those are good guesses. Did you guess alligator? Good job. Okay, we'll do two more. All right. Let's do this one. Okay, so this one, you ride it. You can go fast or slow. It has two wheels. It starts with the letter B. Bicycle. Good job. Okay. And then we'll do one more. We'll do. Okay. So this, this is something that falls out of trees. And squirrels like to pick them up and put them in their cheeks. Starts with A. Acorn. Acorn. Good job. Okay. So Miss Tracy will put her letters back. So we're going to keep practicing these because our letters are really important. They help us learn how to spell and they help us learn how to read. And reading is so much fun. Okay. All right, so now that we've done our letters, I'm going to show you what our activity is today. Now, you, your salt dough would be finished drying. And if your salt dough is finished drying, then you can paint your fossils. Miss Tracy did not make salt dough in time to make her fossils so that she could paint them. But she's going to show you what you can do with another activity today. So when you're all done painting your fossils, you can paint some dinosaurs. So I gave you two types of um, wood dinosaurs in your kit. So I'm going to show you how to do one. And then I gave you paint sticks. So these guys, these are so much fun. So these are really thick paint. These ones have been used in the classroom, but this one is orange. And this one is green. So these are so fun. I'm going to show you on this one. So this one is two dinosaurs with a background. So I'm just going to show you how it fits together. So there's a background and then the big dinosaur goes over here and then the little dinosaur goes here and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to paint this part, the background, I'm going to paint this green using my green paint marker. So I'm just going to put this all over my background just like this okay so now I've got my green mountain hills whatever okay and then I'm gonna paint my little dinosaur so I'm gonna put this this will dry really quickly. Not quite so quick that Miss Tracy can touch it with her fingers right away, but it will dry very quick. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, Miss Tracy got it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this aside. And then I'm gonna paint this dinosaur orange. So I'm gonna take my orange paint. I'm gonna paint it orange. Now, you can do lots of different colors if you want. I'm just gonna do two colors or just the one color on my dinosaur today. You could let it dry and then put a second color on it if you want. This was just an extra activity that I thought might be fun for you to do. So I figured I would include it. There we go, okay. I got my orange dinosaur. Now maybe actually I wanna see what happens if I add some green. So I'm gonna add some green. 
to his head. There we go. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. So I'm going to put the lids back on. It's always important. Miss Tracy is always telling her kiddos at school to put the lids back on. Close them up. So I'm going to put my big dinosaur in and my little dinosaur in. There we go. And I'll show you what I made. So I just colored this one and the back. But you can do all three. You could even color the base. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. You could even, when these are all dry, you could use these in the sensory bin as dinosaurs, which could be a lot of fun. Or you could put them at the Play-Doh. So many, so many options. Speaking of Play-Doh, we're going to play with Play-Doh today. In your kits, there's a stamp. So you can do some stamping. There's also some pipe cleaners. So you could make a dinosaur place or you could um, try pretending what uh, leprechauns might be looking for. Maybe they're looking for some gold because leprechauns love gold. Uh, yeah, so we can do that. We can even do, you can even do footprints in your, in your Play-Doh. Much like we painted with footprints, you can make footprints in the Play-Doh with your dinosaurs. So that is our activity today. All right, I am going to do a little bit more phonics with you guys. Because we have a little bit of work to do on this book to get it all done by June. So we're going to work on it. So we practiced on Monday S, S, A, A for A, T, T for T, and I, I for I. So let's practice those one more time and then I'm going to add two to our practice. Are you ready? Okay, get your snake ready. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. Good job. All right, get your ants ready for A, for A. Ah, ah, ants on my arm. Ah, ah, ants on my arm. Ah, ah, ants on my arm. They're causing me alarm. And I forgot to do one thing that I was going to do. I was going to write the letters down on our whiteboard because it's always important, too, that we visualize our letter. Okay, so was S and then a uh, a uh, was a all right the next letter is t t t ready when i watch the tennis game when I watch the tennis game, my head goes back and forth. And so, T for T. t. Good job. All right, our next letter is I. For I. I. For Inky the mouse. Ready? Inky the mouse is my pet. She spilled the ink and got wet. The ink, it spread all over the desk. It, 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 inky is wet. Good job. Okay. So our next letter and our letter sound is P or P. P. So P can be tricky because we want to go P, 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 P. But I just want you to go P, this little P with your lips together. Okay, so we're gonna puff out the candles on our pink pig cake. Puff out the candles on our pink pig cake. Puff out the candles on the pink pig cake. Puff, puff, puff. Good job puffing out candles. And then our next one is going to be the letter N or the sound Mm. So your tongue should be touching the roof of your mouth and go, mm. and we're going to pretend we're an airplane. 
So give yourself wings. Okay. And it's going to go like this. Hear the airplane. Mmm. Hear the airplane. Mmm. Hear the airplane. Mmm. Making lots of noise. Because airplanes are noisy, right? Good job. You guys are working really hard. All right. So we did S A T I P and N. So these are all letters for the sounds that you now know and we're going to keep working on. All right, that is all I have for us today. I am so excited to see you on Friday. So let's get out our working hands. Ready? All day long we worked and played. Worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. Bye, friends. I'll see you on Friday.